Did you know there's a specific verse in the Bible that tells us the dividing line between a true disciple of Jesus and those who will not follow him? Jesus spoke to his disciples of his true presence in the Eucharist, his true body, blood, soul, and divinity in the bread of life. Jesus doubles down on his real presence in the Eucharist a total of six times in the book of John 6. However, many of his disciples got up and left in John 6, 6-6. Six, six. If the Eucharist were truly only a symbol, then why would this be too difficult for many of his disciples to accept? Many Christians argue that the Eucharist is merely symbolic because acknowledging Christ's true presence also requires accepting the authority passed down through apostolic succession, since only ordained priests in this line have the authority to consecrate the host through transubstantiation. Recognizing this truth emphasizes the importance of that authority. By rejecting it, Protestantism denies believers the fullness of truth and denies them of the most intimate union with God available on earth, which is to receive Jesus Christ and his sanctifying saving grace in the Eucharist. Only someone who has been specially trained and who is specially trustworthy must be allowed to minister in this sacred event. In 1 Corinthians 11, 20-30, we see the consequences of improperly handling the Eucharist, as some Corinthians were offending Christ to the point that they became sick and even died. This passage illustrates the immense value God the Father places on the presence of his Son in the Eucharist. It is unthinkable that God would allow any Christian regardless of their spiritual state, education, or mental stability to consecrate the elements. Such a practice would lead to countless disasters. Only those specially trained in the proper administration of the sacrament are entrusted with this sacred responsibility. This teaching has always been upheld by the early Christians and is fully supported by sacred scripture. It is also a historical fact that the bishops ordained by the apostles themselves were martyred for their belief in the true presence of Christ in the Eucharist. As Saint Ignatius of Antioch stated, they abstain from the Eucharist and from prayer because they do not confess that the Eucharist is the flesh of our Savior Jesus Christ, flesh which suffered for our sins and which the Father in his goodness raised up again. They who deny the gift of God are perishing in their disputes. Since receiving the Eucharist in a state of mortal sin desecrates Christ and endangers your soul, the sacrament of reconciliation is necessary to remove mortal sin. However, none of the 45,000 plus and growing Protestant denominations have the authority to administer this sacrament. Rejecting all the seven sacraments, especially the true presence of Christ in the Holy Eucharist, is rejecting Jesus Christ himself.